Today's topic is parasitic gastroenteritis, often termed as stomach flu. To know about parasitic gastroenteritis, first we must know about gastroenteritis. What is gastroenteritis? Gastroenteritis, as the term suggests, is the inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract. There are various types of gastroenteritis caused by different kinds of organisms like bacteria, virus, parasites. Today we're going to discuss the parasitic gastroenteritis. What is parasitic gastroenteritis? The inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract that is stomach and small intestine caused by a parasite is termed parasitic gastroenteritis. There are different kinds of parasitic gastroenteritis caused by different parasites, and each of them can lead to serious symptoms and complications if not managed early. What are the causes of parasitic gastroenteritis? Parasitic gastroenteritis, very obviously, is caused by parasites. Majorly, there are two parasites that are responsible for causing this inflammatory disease. These parasites are Giardia and Cryptosporidium. How do they spread and cause the disease? Giardia spreads through contaminated water, food, and soil. The carrier can be a human or flies that come in contact with feces of an animal carrying the disease. Hence, it is a waterborne illness that mostly affects people living in unhygienic conditions. The infection is very likely to spread when people do not take any hygienic precautions like when infected people do not wash hands after using the toilet and touch the food and other things that are also consumed and used by others. Do not wash hands after handling infected animals. Drink contaminated water from unclean sources or swimming pools, unpasteurized milk, and eat in unhygienic places. What are the symptoms of parasitic gastroenteritis? There is a wide range of symptoms that occur in patients with parasitic gastroenteritis. The symptoms may develop within a course of 7 to 14 days and generally last for several days. Some of the symptoms include abdominal pain, stomach cramps, diarrhea, vomiting, dehydration, headache, low-grade fever, dizziness, loss of appetite, low blood pressure, fatigue, and weight loss. How is parasitic gastroenteritis diagnosed? The best way to make a diagnosis for parasites is a stool examination. Stool examination is performed at least three times on alternate days to rule out parasitic disease with certainty. What is the treatment for parasitic gastroenteritis? It is a vital fact that gastroenteritis leads to severe dehydration by diarrhea and vomiting. That is the loss of fluids in the body. Especially infants and children, they tend to lose the fluid at a higher pace than an adult. Hence, the first line of treatment is fluid and electrolyte replacement therapy, since the goal is to first support the person and then treat the condition. The second most important thing to do is stopping the transmission. Patients' hygienic conditions shall not be compromised in any way. What are the preventative measures for parasitic gastroenteritis? Wash your hands properly with soap and water after using toilet, handling animals, and changing the diapers of children. Use paper towels rather than cloth towels to dry hands, especially if you're a food handler, healthcare worker, child care worker, or veterinary employee. Do not drink water in swimming pool. Clean your toilet seat and bathroom daily. Drink bottled, filtered, or boiled water. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.